Yeah, I will watch that Mike Food Show for sure. Well, guys, it is time to go to school with Fox 5, and today we're going to get a fun science lesson with our science mom who's joining us via FaceTime, Jenny Bailiff. How are you, Jenny? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm in uh, at my home in quarantine. I know you are as well, but I love that we can learn and be entertained through science at home. We can, we can. I have been putting on a Monday through Friday live stream, and it's been so amazing to see all of the creativity and learning that is happening around the country and around the world at home. And today I have a simple experiment you can do at home that will teach a lot about weather systems and about diffusion, and all you need is food coloring and water. You ready for this? I love it. I'm ready. It's like density and diffusion, right? Yes. So I am going to bring my, my view down lower so that you have a slightly better view. Apologize if there is any noise okay. as we move okay. closer. And you can see I have four cups here. And I've got food coloring in the cups so that we have yellow and blue. And the blue water is cold. The yellow water is warm. And if I place a plastic lid, and if you don't have a lid, you can use the side of a cereal box over the top of these cups, when I turn it over, the lid will stay because water is a super fascinating liquid. It's very cohesive. And then you can just balance the cup on top of the other one. So now we have something that looks a little bit like a lava lamp. Sort of this fun setup here with the, the yellow and the blue, but we've made it an experiment because we've set them up in an opposite way. This one's warm water on top of cold. This one is cold water on top of warm. And if you're watching, I'd encourage you to give this a try yourself because when you're up close and personal, the colors are just amazing. And I'm gonna ask my assistant math dad here to help me remove the lids. It's a good idea to have two people because you want to have one person keep the lid steady as you pull out and the other person just slowly pulls out that divider. And again, you can use a piece of cardboard or paper. You don't have to use a plastic lid. And you can see that most, for the most part, the top staying yellow and the bottom is staying blue because yellow water, not yellow water, warm water is less dense than cold water. Cold water, the molecules are packed together. They're more dense. They're more close together. And that makes that heavier, that liquid heavier. Next, we'll come over here and do the other cups. And with this set of cups, you'll see that it's starting to change. We're getting this beautiful mixing happening and our colors are turning green. And again, because of my unusual backdrop here with the black screen and the, the white table, I know that it might not be quite as vibrant on camera as it is on person, but if you try this yourself, you will be really impressed by just the stark difference of colors. And if I can, I'll bring you closer for just a second so you can see in person that those oh, cups, cool. one is green and one is still yellow over blue. And it's all because liquids and air get more dense when they cool down. I mean, I think that's amazing, Jay. We could do something at our homes today, learn about science, but in a really fun, approachable way. Yes. And I will say I have for any parents with kids who are looking for simple activities that they can do, I have an entire series on my YouTube channel called Science Mom's Guide to Water. There's seven videos, and each one has between four and seven hands-on experiments you can do from home. Well, I, I'm going to go on and check it out because science was not my best subject, so I'm going to, you know, study up myself as a student. <laughs> but thank Excellent. you so much, Science Mom and Jenny Baylor, for joining us today. We really appreciate your time. Oh, you're welcome. Happy to be on.